So you have seen my stuff on the grill. <laughs> yes, I saw what a lot of stuff. What do you think I am making? Um. So okay, I th I'm thinking there's gonna be holes drilled down. You have a long, mm -hmm. and you have a top and a bottom. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm I saw your drill bits and. All, I'm thinking the PVC is going to be drilled all down the sides, and it's definitely going to be a strawberry planter. So thank you. In this video, I am making a DIY lawn striper. <laughs> There are probably better ways for me to show you what the parts are to building a DIY lawn striper than to putting them on top of my grill, but I don't really feel like being on the ground just yet, so I'm not going to. Um, there are two reasons why I am building a DIY lawn striper. Reason one, I don't want to spend $180 to $100 on one just yet. Um, and the other reason is my neighbors have started stepping up their lawn game a little bit. There's a lot more green in the neighborhood than there used to be. And even down the street, somebody's like completely renovating their lawn, killed it off, and yesterday he was uh, throwing manure down on the front lawn, and so seems to know what he's doing. So um, gotta step up my game, my personal game in other ways. So I'm not gonna take credit for coming up with this because this is sort of a hodgepodge of different people's builds that I've seen, Jimmy Lewis, lawn tips, Don's lawn, so I'm not going to take credit, but I will link to their videos down below just so you can see their builds as well. All right, so I went ahead and just measured the uh, Toro Recycler from wheel to wheel, and it is 22 inches. The pipe is 24. So I'm actually gonna, just in case, I'm gonna cut this just a smidge short of 22. We'll say 21 and a half. Now I don't have a vice grip or anything, or really a table to do this. I mean, I have a table, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it here and move it over to the side, you know. I'm ready, but. No touching. All right, so now the PVC pipe is cut. I'm just gonna get the mid, the, the um, center. I wish this was, I wish this was flat and not around. That's my fault. So it looks like it is. I'll just try that. Hold on, buddy. Two inches. So if you want to go to mommy, go to mommy, okay? So I cut a one inch hole, which will, the PVC or the steel pipe will come through there pretty easily. All right, so got band cap in there. I'm gonna slide that out. I already went ahead and put one of the eye bolts with the end cap. Just gonna slide that through. Whoa. Like I've said before, I'm all for showing me being dumb. I didn't cut enough off the length PVC pipe because once I put the other end cap on, it was too long to actually fit this 24 inch uh, steel pipe. So, and because these aren't flat, like everyone else I've seen, they've had flat ones. So it, I got, didn't account for that extra lip. So I cut another, another inch and a half or so. I'm about to cut off and that should do it. Cut off a little bit more. Now let's try it.
theory. That's what's gonna happen. I do need to fill it with rocks, but let's just, now we gotta attach it to the old mower, as long as it rolls freely. Okay, so my hope is, so if you look here, like if you look at other videos that do like bigger mowers, time matches and stuff, they have extra holes around here that they can just attach a bolt to and be happy and done with it. Well, the recycler doesn't have that. Now there is this one I could maybe use, but it's, I can't. So what I'm gonna try to do is use this one here where the guard is and attach it to there. So like with anything I do, it's gonna take another day. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy, these screws here aren't big enough, long enough. So I need to get just another little bit of length in, this, in these screws here to really get into this, get into the flap here. So, but that's sort of what it will look like. Hey, don't, don't, give me that, roll it this way. And then this, we'll screw on back here. Like that, sort of, kind of, in its own little way. Day number two, as is with most things that I do with lawn care, it's early morning, not early morning, it's like 9.30 or something like that. Woke up at like six to run to Home Depot to get these screws. We'll see if they work. I think they should, but yeah. So hopefully three quarter inch gives me enough space to get from this into the hole and actually hold it in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so I did a dry fitting um, just to make sure everything sort of works. Um, what I may do is if I stay with this kit and I don't ever upgrade to like an actual branded kit, um, I may switch out these L brackets for something like a, just a smaller one, um, just because they're really overly big for what I need. Um, but so I could just go to Home Depot and get switch them out. But for now, I think they're going to work fine. Um, so I'm going to just finish dry fitting these uh, eye bolts with these oh, nuts here. Tighten it up. Well, I won't tighten up, loose tight, you know, just dry fit. Then I actually have to load that up with some gravel and then it will be uh, good for a test run. Everything fits. So now the next step is to, uh, I took the top off of the PVC pipe and we're gonna fill it up with pea gravel. Or, I mean, you fill it up with whatever you want. People, I've seen stone, I've seen sand, you know, you just get, you know, if you have stuff left over, material, you know, just stuff to weigh it down. Because um, that's the whole point. It can't be just floating on top. It has to be leveled down. Now, pea gravel is messy. Maybe should have went with thicker stones as I'm pouring it all over myself. And this will inevitably get into my grass. But what I did was is I removed about a quarter of the pea pebbles that were in there. And if I could go back, I would not recommend pea pebbles um, because unlike regular rocks or something, if you've got like a bag of rocks or something like that, there's gaps, there's air in between the rocks because the rocks aren't going to fill up all the nooks and crannies. Whereas with the pea pebbles, they fill up because they're smaller and they've sort of uh, eroded down and there's some really fine like sand almost in there it fills up all the gaps so it's just too much weight for it to actually roll and it stops the the big thing is the reason you put that um, steel pipe in there is because that's what's going to cause it to roll and so with all the weight in there it stopped it from being able to to roll so less pea pebbles it works now it makes a grinding noise because of the pebbles rolling around but, so, I would recommend you use rocks instead of pea pebbles or sand, but it seems to work. So now, let's get to mowing, but it's still kind of wet out there. So I may just make one more modification to this. 
that's better. So the trim pass is done. Now the question is, do I play it safe for the first time my in stripes or do I have fun with it? We had the first casualty. The, the, the um, screw that goes into the flap came out. Can't be having that. All right, so I'm going to do a bit of a redesign because those 3 8 inch screws or those screws aren't sticking into the flap at all like they, this one keep it's just this one keeps falling off so or popping out whatever because you can't turn that's the problem it's like you can't freely turn with the system um, at least the way it is you just just there's no turning so you come up with another way come up with something else but I mean the stripes that I can see are looking pretty good. <sighs> Disappointing. All right, so I performed a little bit of field surgery. I would have filmed it, but at this point, it's more like I just need to get stuff done. Cause I have to actually film the church service tonight, still because of quarantine and stuff. But I took out the existing like half inch screws or whatever were in there. I put two inch screws. So if if they keep popping out at two inches then I'm just gonna go ahead and scrap this idea, find another way, and just finish the mow, because like I said, I have stuff to do tonight, so I just can't sit here and, and fiddle with this stuff for too much longer. So we'll see how the two inch screws fare. So the stripes are done. Get a better look at them here in a little while, but not too bad. I can't really see them in the camera, so hopefully they're showing up, but not too bad with that stripe kit. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to stripe the strip. Stripe the strip. Stripe the rice skew lawn. And just as a reminder, I'm cutting kind of the rice skew lawn at two and a half inches, give or take, so We'll see how it strips, stripes, strips. The strip is striped. Um, uh, nothing really happened that time. Um, you need lock washers for sure. You need lock washers in between the two bolts that hold it to the L bracket because those the whole time are coming loose. So you need lock tight or but I don't really want to do lock tight, but lock washers or something just to keep those two bolts from moving about um, with the vibrations of the mower and the turning, it just caused them to, to, to come loose. But and that happened once here, but so let's wrap up this lawn striper, shall we? on my nice cool grass. Overall, I'm pleased with it. You know, it got the job done. Now, definitely there are some problems with it. Uh, these bolts kept coming loose the entire time, so you need lock washers or something to keep these from, from moving about and to just keep this together. Um, one of these end caps on that side actually popped off and this slid out, causing me to spill some gravel over there. I had to replace these uh, uh, screws with two inch screws instead of like half an inch or whatever they were 
that they didn't come out since then. Uh, you can't really turn very easily. It's difficult to back up. But with all that being said, at the end of the day, it's a lawn striper. And does it lay stripes? Yes, it does. And I'm happy with the way the stripes turned out. Um, you know, it's, it's fantastic. But there's a reason why you'd spend $80 to $100 and get an actual branded lawn striper. Because those negatives that came about with this one, you know, they don't have. You can turn, you know, you don't have to worry about screws coming loose and all that kind of stuff. They just lay stripes and make it fun and easy to lay stripes. So maybe in the future I'll just splurge and get an actual lawn striper. Who knows? Um, but anyway, that is it for this video. I'm going to actually be doing a giveaway. So I made some coffee cups. I'll show an image of what they look like because I kind of the other day was like, I kind of want to have a coffee cup with my logo on it. And so I made just a few more just to give away. I'm not selling them or anything like that. So I want to give away a coffee cup. So if you would like a coffee cup, comment below at the beginning of the video. What did my wife think I was building with the parts that I showed her? You, you get it right? you get entered into the drawing. I'm going to give away a coffee cup as soon as they arrive, which is actually going to be this week. So comment below. What did my wife think I was building with the parts that turned into the DIY lawn striper? But anyway, that is it for this video. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Have you built a DIY lawn striper before? How did it work out? Or did you just go ahead and buy a branded one? But anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day and God bless.